Hello, and welcome to another FIFA 23 World Cup match simulation. This time, Cameroon versus Serbia. Let's just jump right into it. Alright, into Group G, and both of these teams lost their openers by one goal. So, a lot to play for here. Not, losing doesn't necessarily see you eliminated, but it could do. So, depending on the result of the other Group G match that's to come later. <coughs> Excuse me. Serbia playing three at the back, by the way, on this match, which, forgive me if I'm wrong, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think might be the first time we've seen a team play that in this World Cup. I know I've not talked a lot about formations and whatnot, but I'm fairly sure, unless someone's noticed another three at the back being played, <coughs> at least at kickoff, I don't think we started with three at the back on any team. Anyway, Serbia get an early corner and take it short. And you know what? It's accidentally worked out well for them. Ooh, almost very well. Wouldn't say it was a good short corner, but it almost worked out for them in the end. <coughs> so... Serbia lost 1-0 to Brazil. Cameroon lost 3-2 to Switzerland. So, Cameroon have proven they are capable of scoring. Serbia have yet to. But Serbia were playing Brazil, after all. So, uh, yeah. Goal difference-wise, they're the same. Goals for Cameroon have the advantage here. If it came down to these two teams and who goes through, and the goal difference remains the same... Cameroon have the edge at the moment, so Serbia would like to win this one. In fact, well, both teams would like to win this one, let's be honest. But Serbia maybe have a little bit more motivation, and it's showing so far. 1-0 to Serbia. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. I mean, it was a strong shot. And he has to think about covering his far post. He can't just stand on his near post. Arguably, yeah, maybe could have done a little better, but good finish. And his defence should have done better. He should not have been in that position. One then. Indeed, 1-0. Usually is after the first goal. Oh! And then to celebrate scoring a goal, you're just going to crop someone down and get an unnecessary yellow card? What's that all about? Well, this legendary difficulty really likes to throw slide tackles in around the middle of the park, doesn't it? I don't know why. I don't know why that's part of its, like, programming, but it does it a lot. And I don't know how that's beneficial. Because nearly always results in a yellow card. Well, not nearly always, but, like, probably a good third to half of the time. Tries the long free kick. Doesn't pay off. Nice, nice dramatic clearance there. With the scissor kick. Milinkovic Savic. Good link up between those two players, keeping possession when they were under the cosh. But now Cameroon have got it back. But he's really under pressure, this left back, but his centre back provides some relief. Plays it forward. Now, this uh, quick change of ends here from Cameroon. They've played the ball all the way up the pitch very quickly. Tried the fancy back heel, and the defender predicted it. Alexander Mitrovic. Now. This is an interesting position. He's through. He's through on goal. Second goal, maybe? No, one too many touches, I feel, there. And the keeper managed to get to him and block him off. Good goalkeeping, but I think maybe one too many touches. Well, that save has kept him in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Agreed. Yeah. That is true. Good commentary. <laughs> so, free kick to Cameroon just inside their own half. Are they going to try and build from this? Or are they going to try and fire it forward? They're firing it forward. The and again, line. unsuccessfully. I think maybe you might want to switch tactic. Because that's twice you tried that. And twice it's not really worked out. Oh, oh, he takes on the defender. And actually just basically goes through him. I think he was offside. Yeah, the flag's gone up. Not the goal scorer, the assister. Yeah. Let's have another look at this. I'm sure we'll get a replay. But uh, I think it was the assist. It was this pass where the offside was. Ooh, I don't know, you know. Ooh. I mean, the the line, the assistant, the referee's assistant, 
was right. I was about to say linesman. That's an outdated term. The, um, they were right in line with that decision, so I have to trust them. Oh, no. Oh, that was terrible. Who was that defender that just assisted the goal? That was terrible. It sits on the... The display. I mean, some players just phase clean through that and don't even acknowledge its existence. He sits on it. Watch this here. So there's a save. The defender's got the ball and just passes it to the other player who then scores. Because of course he did. Number 24. He's going to get some stick in, in the halftime team talk, isn't he? That was abysmal. You've just got to clear that. Don't even know what he was trying to do. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Serbia can feel quite fortunate to have that second goal because that should have been cleared and it should have just gone down as a good save and a, a slight chance for them. But instead, it was a goal. Good long shot, by the way, there. Very nice. Okay, corner for Cameroon on the stroke of half time. This is their last chance, I would think, to get something out of this half. Oh, it's at the near post, but it's taken by the keeper. And that's half time, 2-0. Oh, I would not want to be that Cameroonian number 24 at half time. Can anyone check on that number 24? For, does he look like his hair's been dried? Does he have any boot-shaped bruises on him? <laughs> Someone check that man. Now Cameroon looking for the quick start to this half. And this is what they need. Unlucky. Oh, good defending from Serbia. Bit of both I think. Now can Serbia counter and put this one beyond any doubt. That's what they're going to be wanting to do here. And advancing quickly. Now cutting back inside. Taking his time a little bit. He's had a couple of runs. Why would he take a shot? He had a couple of runs made there and refused to take them. Cleared behind for what is going to be a corner. That felt like an unnecessary corner as well. If they score from this, if they score from this, this could be a, another questionable defensive decision by Cameroon. He's driven in the corner. But no, the corner doesn't make it to its intended target. Oh, but Serbia keep the pressure up. Great clearance. The keeper, I think, had it covered, but the defender didn't leave it to him. Position, Still on the attack though, Serbia. Look at this. Oh, he hits the woodwork. That was a nice little bit of uh, build-up play by the Serbians. Now Cameroon finally have the ball out of their penalty area and need to get a goal ASAP to salvage anything from this match. And that's a cracking long shot, but the Serbian keeper is equal to it. I wouldn't say easy, but he was definitely equal to it. He's, he's made more difficult saves. I'll give you that. Here's Milinkovic, Savic. Okay, now Milinkovic. Serbia. Just uh, maintaining Milinkovic. possession is top priority. Scoring a third goal is second priority. Oh, no, not conceding is second priority. Third priority is to score that third goal and put this game to bed. Yeah, retaining possession, smart play. But also maintaining forward momentum as best they can. Oh, he's open in the box. Was that offside? Or was it a really well-timed run? I think it was a really well-timed run. The linesman's got his flag down. Sorry, that's not the turn, but whatever. Let's see this. Oh, yeah, it wasn't even close. That was beautiful movement. Great pass to find him, and that is it. That's all she wrote for Cameroon. They're not officially eliminated yet. But let's be honest, I don't think anyone's putting a bet on them getting through the group stages now. Great performance by Serbia, bouncing back from a goalless defeat to Brazil, demonstrating, hey, yeah, we can score goals. Now can they demonstrate they can also keep clean sheets? As Cameroon will be still hunting for a redemptive goal just on the off chance they can salvage this. But uh, that one was not to be. Quite a tough angle, and with the defender approaching and the keeper covering the near post. That was asking a lot to score from there.
Serbian keeper very deliberately placing the ball down. There's no rush at all from the Serbians now. Ah, they're going to make a substitution as well. Why not, eh? Kill a bit more time. <laughs> right. The goal kick finally is underway. Okay, won by the Serbian. They have possession. Oh, is this going to become an embarrassing scoreline for Cameroon? What can they produce on the flank? It was so unfortunate. After they did quite well, I'd say, against Switzerland. And were maybe arguably unlucky to lose. Oh, nice back heel, long shot. Yep. Oh, good save. Wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Did Cam I didn't notice. Did Cameroon take off that defender who made the horrific mistake? I know their first sub wasn't that. <laughs> and the most recent sub wasn't that. But I think they've made three now, right? Oh, Serbia. Oh, no, no, he's still on. It was number 24. He's, he's the currently selected player, if you look in the bottom right. Now he's not. Oh, my God. I don't know if that was an attempt at a slide tackle or trying to get his foot on for a shot. You don't need to be taking those risks 3 0 up. Oh, no. Giving away to Serbia. <laughs> they might get one more attacking opportunity here. No, the referee says, you know what? Enough is enough. Let's put Cameroon out of their misery. 3-0 to Serbia, great victory. Alright, so there you have it. That's what FIFA thinks will happen. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new here, share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Abeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.